Hello and welcome to Monsters, Myths, and Murderers. Alexander Sawney Bean was said to be the head of a 48-member clan in Scotland anywhere between the 13th and 16th centuries, reportedly executed for the mass murder and cannibalization of over 1,000 people. According to the Newgate calendar, Alexander Bean was born in East Lothian during the 1500s. His father was a ditch digger and hedge trimmer, and Bean tried to take up the family trade but quickly realized that he had little taste for honest labor. He left home with a vicious woman who apparently shared his inclinations. The couple ended up at a coastal cave where they lived undiscovered for some 25 years. The cave was 200 yards deep and during high tide the entrance was blocked by water. The couple eventually produced eight sons, six daughters, 18 grandsons and 14 granddaughters. Various grandchildren were products of incest. Lacking the inclination for regular labor, the clan thrived by laying careful ambushes at night to rob and murder individuals or small groups. The bodies were brought back to the cave, where they were dismembered and eaten. Leftovers were pickled, and discarded body parts would sometimes wash up on nearby beaches. The body parts and disappearances did not go unnoticed by the local villagers, but the bins stayed in the caves by day and took their victims at night. The clan was so secretive that the villagers were unaware of the murderers living nearby. As more significant notice of the disappearances was taken, several organized searches were launched to find the culprits. One search took note of the telltale cave but the men refused to believe anything human could live in it. Frustrated and in a frenetic quest for justice, the townspeople lynched several innocents, and the disappearances continued. Suspicion often fell on local innkeepers since they were the last known to see many of the missing people alive. One fateful night, the Bins ambushed a married couple riding from a fair on one horse, but the man was skilled in combat, deftly holding off the clan with sword and pistol. The clan fatally mauled the wife when she fell to the ground in the conflict. Before they could take the resilient husband, a large group of fair goers appeared on the trail and the Bins fled. With the Bean's existence finally revealed, it was not long before King James VI of Scotland, later James I of England, heard of the atrocities and decided to lead a manhunt with a team of 400 men and several bloodhounds. They soon found the Bean's previously overlooked cave in Benin Head. The cave was scattered with human remains, having been the scene of many murders and cannibalistic acts. The clan was captured alive and taken in chains to the toll booth jail in Edinburgh, then transferred to Leith or Glasgow where they were promptly executed without trial. The men had their genitalia cut off, hands and feet severed, and were allowed to bleed to death. The women and children, after watching the men die, were burned alive. <laughs>